Hello there, folks. I'd like to introduce you to Frederick. Say hi, Fred. Hi. I'm going to tell you the story of Fred's journey through the stages of product development. Listen closely now. It all started when Fred was hanging around with some co-workers after an important meeting. Everyone was standing around chatting when Fred realized he was really thirsty. The only places nearby to get himself a drink were a soft drink vending machine up the hall and a coffee maker in the office. Since he was allergic to artificial sugar and he didn't like drinking coffee, Fred was out of luck. He just had to stay thirsty until he got home. Oh man. This got Fred thinking. What if there was a way to make a delicious drink from all natural ingredients? Something that tastes good and could be healthy too. I've got it. Fred came up with a brilliant idea to make deliciously fruit flavored teas from organic natural sources. The teas would taste great and the consumer could feel good about drinking them as they were only made from tea leaves, fruit, and natural flavors, and no sugar added or artificial flavor. Score! Fred wrote a recipe for a blueberry fruit flavored tea for a few of his co-workers and explained his idea. Unfortunately, things didn't go over as he had hoped. You know, David's Tea and Tivana have made take-home flavored teas very trendy and have snatched up most of the market. There isn't really a demand for this product. People already have it. And it looks like it's not going to taste so great. It's just tea with blueberry seeds in it. I think you need to take this back to the drawing board. Fred thought about it for a good long time. He might have enjoyed the tea, but if the consumer didn't, and if there isn't a market yet to be satisfied, they won't buy it. Fred realized he needed to do something that was innovative, so he decided to take a try at a carbonated soft drink. That's the one with the bubbles in it. Thanks, Fred. Soda contains high amounts of sugar, which many people don't consume for various health reasons. It's bad for your teeth, blood, brain, and more. Fred decided to keep his original idea about going all natural, but turned his product into a carbonated soft drink. This way, consumers could have a guilt-free soda and they could en that they could enjoy instead of unhealthy traditional alternatives. Revising his recipe, Fred whipped up a batch of three glasses of his fruit-flavored soda as a prototype. Mmm, delicious. All right, the first success. Fred took his product back to his co-workers and let them try. Mmm, it's delicious. Hooray, on to the next stage. Now that he had a decent product, Fred needed to decide who it was that would want to buy it. He contacted Coca-Cola Incorporated and purchased some of their marketing research data on, carbonated, on the carbonated beverage market. Fred spent hours looking over all of the numbers, figures, and statistics, finally deciding it would be best to market to urban young adults between the ages of 20 and 30. <laughs> then came the hard part. What do you mean, the hard part? Fred conducted surveys in the area. He interviewed young adults, asking them if the product was interesting to them, and if so, where they would like to buy it. He provided samples for participants to take. He found that young females preferred the idea and the taste and would like to go see the product sold at fitness centers and colleges. The top flavors requested were mango, grape, and kiwi. Great! Then came the really hard part. Seriously? Fred needed to investigate whether or not it would be practical and convenient to mass produce his product and in the end turn a profit. Since mangoes and kiwis are exotic fruits that need to be imported, the cost of production would be too high, so Fred decided to stick with grapes. Delicious! Fred also wanted to package the beverage in glass bottles to reduce plastic waste. This also proved to be too costly, as glass bottles cost double the amount of plastic ones. This made production too expensive, and so to cut costs and make production possible, the soda had to be packaged in plastic bottles. Oh man. Created using Powtoon.